Happy Wednesday, Mid-Missouri. Today is a weather alert day for the potential for some showers and storms to become severe. Uh, primarily thunderstorm activity uh, later this morning. That's what we're focused on. We will have thunderstorms widespread, likely around 8 to 9 o'clock, and we're not ruling out the potential for these to be strong to severe, but our focus is primarily with this round coming in by late this morning, 10 to noon, um, primarily maybe even 11 to noon, south and east of Jefferson City. So that's going to be places like Camden, Tinto, Osage Beach, Fort Leonard Wood, Rolla, Lynn, Owensville, Harmon, Montgomery City for this line that Future Track's trying to get a grasp on here. Now, again, Future Track's not gospel, but this is what we're expecting a line of thunderstorms moving up. And that line will have a potential for strong to damaging winds. And that's what we're really concerned with today. Everything else is kind of peripheral, uh, whether it be the hail or the tornado risk. It's there, but it's very, very low. Our main concern is going to be wind, primarily with that feature that moves through uh, in that window. As we get closer, we're starting to single that out a little bit. Again, not ruling out severe weather elsewhere, uh, but that's our highest risk. And as we head towards the afternoon, we're all done with this. Uh, we may have a few showers along the actual wind shift the actual true cold front that's moving through, um, but it, it's very, very slim chances for rain with that. Uh, out ahead of it, even behind the rain, we're still warm. Temperatures in the 60s through about 7 o'clock, and then that true wind shift pushes through, and that's where we start to see things cool down for your Thursday. What do our risks look like? Well, overall, we have a risk for just about everything, but our main concern, the highest risk, the most likely impact is going to be damaging winds. We can't rule out a brief spin up tornado. If we see that develop, it likely is something very short lived and, and not, uh, not a high risk situation. But of course, any tornado is something to be paying attention to. Uh, so we'll keep that risk in the forecast. The latest update from the Storm Prediction Center is really highlighting that area of southeast of Jefferson City. This is where we've got the highest risk for those damaging winds and even uh, a brief spin-up tornado. But as you look, we've got about a 10% chance uh, of, a, of damaging winds within 25 miles of anywhere here in the yellow. Uh, a much lower chance, a 5% chance here in the brown. That's going to be Columbia. But Jefferson City into the southeast is where we see the better potential for not only those winds, but even to a lesser extent, the tornado risk. Only about a 2% chance highlighted here in green. That's mostly uh, Lynn, Owensville, Rolla, Fort Leonard Wood, and Montgomery City. It's a very low risk, but it's non-zero, so it's something we've got to pay attention to. Today's forecast shows those thunderstorms moving in uh, and out of here through the middle part of the day. By around 4 o'clock, again, that's where we see our next chance for sunshine, and we're still in the 60s even after that rain leaves. Tomorrow, though, that's where the cold air arrives. We're looking at highs in the 30s, potentially, maybe just near 40. Temperatures not rebounding much at all during the afternoon. We may see a situation where we see temperatures fall steadily throughout the day. So it's going to be a cool one on Thursday. Friday, we're looking maybe a degree warmer, still cool. We won't see temperatures back above average until the weekend where we're watching the chance for a few chances for rain. Uh, Saturday night into Sunday, you don't see that chance for rain Saturday night, but it will be Saturday night after the daytime hours and then heading into Monday. That's our next chance for a widespread rain as temperatures are back into the low 60s.